Summer is here, and as the weather warms up so does the water, making it the perfect season to go fishing. This hobby is common in Japan, especially on holidays when families, members young and old, swarm fishing spots all over Japan. Japan is an island country in East Asia. It is situated in the Northwest Pacific Ocean and is bordered on the west by the Sea of Japan, extending from the Sea of Okosk in the north toward the East China Sea, Philippine Sea, and Taiwan in the south. Does Japan have good fishing? Yes, Japan has excellent fishing opportunities, both in freshwater and saltwater. Japan is surrounded by the ocean and has a wide variety of fish species, including tuna, yellowtail, sea bream, and many others. There are also many pristine mountain streams and rivers that offer excellent fishing for trout and salmon. Japan boasts a wide variety of fish in its waters, and it enjoys its own seafood resources as a major source of food in the country. You can find fish such as mahi-mahi, horse mackerel, albacore tuna, flounder, rainbow trout, and cherry salmon in bodies of water around the Kanto region if you manage to go fishing in this area during the summertime. Sushi restaurants also commonly sell these kinds of fish, making fishing a profitable and recreational activity. Therefore, commercial and recreational fishing remain quite popular in Japan. Japan has a long history of fishing, and the country has developed many unique and effective fishing techniques and equipment. For example, Japanese anglers are known for using lightweight and sensitive rods and reels for freshwater fishing, and for using advanced techniques such as tenkara fishing. Overall, Japan is a great destination for fishing enthusiasts, with many excellent fishing locations, a rich fishing culture, and a diverse array of fish species to target. However, it's important to research the fishing regulations and obtain the necessary permits and licenses before fishing in Japan. Can I fish anywhere in Japan? Japan's diverse ecosystem is ideal for fans of fishing. Fishing in Japan started as a necessary means of subsistence, but has evolved into a popular pastime. Today, you can enjoy fly fishing in the lakes and rivers that run through the country or head to the ocean for deep sea fishing. Can foreigners fish in Japan? Tokyo Fishing Permit at Seasonal Information you don't require a fishing license for either saltwater or freshwater fishing in Japan, except for commercial fishing operations. However, fishing in most lakes does require that you buy a fishing permit. Where do people fish in Japan? People fish in various locations in Japan, including rivers, lakes, reservoirs, ponds, and the ocean. The most popular fishing locations in Japan include Mountain streams and rivers Japan has many pristine mountain streams and rivers that offer excellent fishing opportunities for trout, salmon, and other cold water species. Coastal areas Japan is an island nation surrounded by the ocean, and there are many opportunities for shore fishing, surf fishing, and boat fishing. Popular saltwater species in Japan include sea bream, flounder, yellowtail, and tuna. Lakes and reservoirs Japan has many large lakes and reservoirs that are stocked with a variety of fish species, including bass, trout, and carp. These bodies of water offer great opportunities for boat and shore fishing. Urban fishing ponds, many parks and public areas in Japan have small ponds stocked with fish for recreational fishing. These ponds are a convenient and accessible option for those who live in urban areas. Overall, there are many different fishing locations in Japan that offer diverse opportunities to catch a wide range of fish species. Japanese people often enjoy fishing for two reasons, as a serious sport and for recreational pleasure. 
In some fishing groups or facilities, since fishing remains as a sport activity, some fish are supposed to be released again after they are caught, as the purpose of the fishing is not to catch and consume the fish, but to accumulate points from catch larger and more fish. However in some recreational fishing areas, fish can be taken home after being caught. Saltwater fishing in Japan is generally free, so most fees are either as an entrance fee or licensing fee for freshwater fishing, in public or private fishing communities, and for tackle. Most fishing spots also offer fishing supplies for rent, though if you want to buy them, shops such as Joshua, Sansoy, and Sabalo also offer fishing supplies, and you can even buy them online on some of these stores' websites. Japanese people also utilize some unique fishing techniques, two of them being Ayo fishing, common in Hokkaido, and Tenkara fishing, common in river areas. For example, ayo fishing is common for catching ayo fish, utilizing fabrics to make decoy fish for the aggressive ayo so that it will be more likely to attack the bait and become easier to catch. For foreigners, finding a fishing spot that is foreigner friendly might be tricky, but this list might help you decide the types of fishing spots which might fit your taste. Fishing in Japan Japan's diverse ecosystem is ideal for fans of fishing. Fishing in Japan started as a necessary means of subsistence, but has evolved into a popular pastime. Today, you can enjoy fly fishing in the lakes and rivers that run through the country or head to the ocean for deep-sea fishing. Even major cities such as Tokyo and Osaka have found space for urban fishing, a reminder of just how influential the activity remains. What kind of fishing can I do in Japan? Japan's ample mountains make the country an ideal place for fly fishing. Due to the rugged landscape and abundant snowmelt, all of the major islands have many rivers and streams perfect for casting off. Lake Okan in the Okan Mashu National Park in Hokkaido has a tremendous reputation for fly fishing, and the Japan Alps near Gifu and Nagano prefectures are also notable spots. Each location has different rules for how to acquire a license, even just for the day, so make sure to check before you set out on your adventure. Head out into the ocean on a deep-sea fishing adventure. Japan is also a haven for deep-sea fishing. Many companies and tours operate from the coast, taking visitors out onto the waves and the chance to catch a wide variety of ocean-living creatures. Booking a tour is a practical way you can enjoy fishing on the open seas, as going out on your own will be pretty tricky. However, the tour organizers can guide you through the process, and their local knowledge will take you to promising spots. Make sure you have the necessary permits for fishing in Japan. How can I go fishing in Japan? Fishing in Japan requires a little preparation. Generally, you will need to obtain some sort of permit or license, even if it lasts for just one day. Thankfully, plenty of English-speaking tour companies operate across Japan that will take care of these details for you. Japan's rivers are great spots for fly fishing. Fly fishing. Trout at King Fishing Tours organize fly fishing trips all over the country, including trips to Hokkaido. They also are open to offering customized experiences for customers. Another option is Far East Outfitters. Head out to sea on a chartered fishing tour. Deep Sea Fishing. Bass and Heaven's Tokyo Fishing Guide Service organizes trips all year long near the capital. EGA Fish Japan Charter Tours offers free fishing charters to active or retired military personnel visiting Japan, with tours in the waters near Iwakuni in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Fishing restaurants make for a fun evening. What is urban fishing? Japanese cities offer opportunities for urban fishing. Urban fishing centers are essentially small bodies of water stock with fish where visitors pay a small amount to try to catch something. 
Indoor fishing venues dot most big towns too, while fishing restaurants are also taking off. Sao is a popular restaurant where customers can catch their own dinner from the pool in the restaurant. Once you have caught one, chefs will prepare it for you. What about traditional fishing methods? Fishing has been present in Japan for centuries, and over that time the country has developed their own styles that are still practiced today. One such method is called ukai, where trained cormorant birds help anglers capture river fish. It's famous in Gifu City, and can be viewed on the Nagaragawa River from May to October. It also takes place in Kyoto and Uji from July to September. Tenkara, is a variant of fly fishing emphasizing pure fishing technique over complicated equipment. This approach has been around for more than a hundred years. Fishers use very simple equipment, just a long and flexible rod. Tenkara has become very popular. One final variety is called Dobo. It's another take on freshwater fly fishing that features a big rod, but it is more about delicately angling the lure in end, thanks to a weight attached to the other end, letting it sink down. This style is mostly used to catch I.O. Asterisk the information on this page may be subject to change due to COVID-19. There are many fish in Japan, and their fishing methods are diverse. For example, there are two major methods for aiming at the lure for red sea bream that represent Japan, the lure, and the method for aiming at using by it, but there are more than four types of fishing with the lure and over ten types of fishing with the bait. Therefore, when doing various fishing, it is also necessary to have specialized equipment, which is very expensive. If you come to Japan and try fishing, it will be easier if you decide in advance to squeeze the target fish and the decide type of fishing, and you can easily go where you want to go and gather the tools you want to go. I introduced the outline, one example, by dividing the typical Japanese fishing method into fishing from the shore and fishing from the boat. Link fishing from the shore. Embankment fishing. I think this is the easiest fishing experience for travelers of foreigners. Fishing tackle shops also have introductory tools, which are completed, and you can buy them and go fishing if you buy by it. In addition, in Japan, Sea Fishing Park may be maintained depending on the area, and it is not only the rental of a set of tools for fishing but also restaurants, rest facilities, restrooms, etc. for eating. This is especially recommended for family fishing experiences. A variety of fish can be caught from the embankment, and various fish such as horse mackerel, mackerel, sardine, Japanese whiting, sea bass, yellowtail and barbel rockfish can be caught. In addition, many people aim at octopus and squid in recent years, and many people aim at squid by lure fishing using a Japanese-made lure called eggy. The method is called egging. There are also established lure methods for targeting horse mackerel and Japanese rockfish such as edging and mebering, which can be enjoyed casually, but require a specialized tool and their method are therefore somewhat difficult. The recommended way of fishing is sabiki fishing using Japanese artificial bait. This is using a piece of plastic wrap around a hook, using a mechanism of about 6 hooks vertically, using a small plastic basket that combines a weight and a basket for feeding by it at the bottom. This method can catch horse mackerel, mackerel, sardines etc. It is a very enjoyable fishing because it is very easy and a lot can be done by the method of fishing etc. In particular, this fishing does not need to be attached with such as isem or creel. Instead, place the bait in the bottom of the basket or just sprinkle the ground bait with the ladle. After that, when you put the device in the ground bait, just wait for the fish that misunderstands the artificial bait hook as bait in the ground bait. It is very relaxing fishing.
the disadvantage of this fishing is that it smell of this by it smells bad, and spilling it on the clothes can be very difficult to wash clothes. In addition, there is also a fishing method called choy nudge, which uses a mechanism such as a balance mechanism or mechanism of two three vertically and use isem and frill as by it, and drop it at the foot or throw it a little further and then fish it. You can fish more easily without preparing the ground by it like sebiki fishing. The main target fish are fish that are near the bottom such as marble rockfish and Japanese whiting. There are also people who aim for migratory fish by means of short jigyang by throw an air called metal jig from the embankment. This fishing method requires only a kite, a reel, and a lure called a metal jig, and this method needed to retrieve action and fall action to catch fishes. The drawback of this fishing method is that when there are no migratory fish, you can only catch as much as the marble rockfish near the bottom, and if the lure gets caught on the rock, the loss will be very large. Surf casting. Surf casting is the main field on a sandy beach, and it is a method to catch mainly the fish called shirogisu, Japanese whiting. Especially in this fishing, long throw is the key, and people who fly can fly more than 200m, so if you fly far you can widely explore the place where the fish is and you can catch many fish. The standard of the big fish for those who aim at this Japanese whiting is 30cm, and there are many people who go to the fishing spot even at a large Japanese whiting which is said to be known as tapping the elbow. In addition, we can aim at not only Japanese whiting but also large-sized red sea drink, sea bass, flatfish, etc. in surf casting. And these are 